Getting your first internship at a big tech company truly is a numbers game. So often when I hear someone complaining about how they haven't heard back from any companies, I ask them how many they've applied to and they say, mm, I don't know, 10 or so? Well, that's not enough. That's not nearly enough. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I manage to apply to 100 plus companies every time I want to get a new position. I got internships at Amazon, Google, a local tech company, and I'm going full-time at Datadog this summer. So I, I've been through the ringer a few times and in the end of the day, I think it's fairly simple. You just need to know a few tricks and to unlearn a few bad habits that you've been taught by your career counseling services at your university. A lot of advice that you see on applying to companies has you writing personal cover letters or tweaking your resume to the particular job posting, reaching out to recruiters so that you have a direct one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone at the company. And all of that is, you know, well and good and it might help a little bit, but I'm recommending that you do absolutely none of it. It's an obnoxious waste of your time. And when you're trying to break into big tech, these you know faceless corporations that are treating their incoming candidates as nothing more than a number, the individualized attention that you're putting into that application is not going to be reciprocated. Once you remove all that fluff, as I'm about to show you now, you can really start applying to a company a minute. And that's how you find these people that have applied to 100, 200, 300 plus companies. In order to apply to companies in bursts, you're gonna to wanna to spend a little bit of time just getting your tabs set up. So first, have your LinkedIn open. If you don't have a LinkedIn, you should probably get one. I have a video on my channel about how to set up your LinkedIn for software engineering internships. You're also gonna to wanna to have your resume downloaded as a PDF on your local computer. And you're ideally gonna to wanna to have some way to filter your email. So for me, I have an email set up where I don't use it for newsletters, I don't use it for accounts. It is, it is nothing personal, strictly for applying to companies. and that way I'm not gonna miss any emails from recruiters I'm not gonna forget about interviews both of which have happened super embarrassing I do not recommend so if you can find some way to filter your emails or just have a separate email set up in general make a new Gmail account super quick and dirty and apply to companies with that so where you're gonna want to start is on Google and you know so much of what people have questions about related to getting an internship can really be googled what I personally Google is software engineering internship summer 2023 get GitHub. Now, adding GitHub to the end there just takes me directly to where I want to go. But if you don't put it, what you wind up with is Google Jobs, you have Indeed, uh, Glassdoor, LinkedIn, these third party application websites. And well, they're not terrible, and they might be worth checking out. I wouldn't spend too much time on them. Because in the end of the day, applying to companies directly on their website is going to be a lot better than applying via a third party. Now I did say in this video, you know, not to personalize too much to an individual company. So how can you apply to a boatload of companies individual websites without spending too much time personalizing things to them and the answer is in these githubs where computer science students have compiled huge lists of an internship opportunities and what you can do is go to them open up a bunch of the links that they have to all of the open positions and all of a sudden you have a bunch of tabs that you can sort through and start applying to companies. So some applications are going to be easier than others, but in general, you know, let's see how fast this relatively average looking application is going to take me. And in all of about 45 seconds, I've completed this application. Once you have applied to a company, generally it is useful to write down that you've applied, the date that you applied, keep a link of the original job posting so that if you get an interview, you can go back to that job posting, see what particular skills and technologies they're looking for and use that to inform your conversation with the recruiter. And also just keep track of, you know, who have you been rejected by? Who have you gotten offers from? This is from the second time that I applied to internships. I was a little bit pickier with the companies that I was applying to I think I wound up applying to you know 80 to 90 I, I only wrote down about 63 so I am by no means perfect but just keeping track of the status job listing and a couple of notes is probably good enough the the type of internship thing here and different things like context like that's not hundred percent necessary but in general it's it's useful to write stuff down if a company asks you a question like why are you interested in two Sigma or what got you into software engineering then you can have some boilerplate ideas 
ideas for how you want to answer them in your head it will take a little bit longer to write them out if you know a little bit about the company just because you know it's it's relatively common it's a it's a piece of technology that you use every day and you're applying to the person that makes it it's okay to throw in you know oh i was i personally used stripe at my small business to process payment transactions and as a software engineer i got really curious and how the back end was distributed whatever you got to spin some people are better with coming up with stuff like that on the spot than others so if you're not so good at that then you can have a copy paste uh, answer to a lot of those questions where you just switch a couple words up put in the company name and maybe make a direct reference to some piece of technology produced by the company so by having your tab set up not over personalizing to different companies and mass applying to direct company websites I really do think that you can get down to maybe an average of a company a minute a little bit more and in doing so apply to a hundred plus software engineering internships if you don't hear back after say applying to 20 or so then you should probably check your resume I have plenty of videos on my channel about checking your resume and I would say apply in burst but don't do it all in one day because you do want a little bit of space so that you can see how your resume and your application is being received by the first round of companies so that going into the second round maybe you do make a couple of tweaks to your resume not for an individual company but just based off the information that you garnered from the initial burst of applications. It's going to be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. My name is Alex. Peace.